the Corsica pines were tall. The canopy was high. Yeah. You can see right through. There are some the of the original trees. The ferns weren't that heavy. Uh, the ferns were lower then. I don't know why. I think it's the time of year they die back. Yes. In about a month from now, they'll all be brown and dying back, and, then, and by December they'll be gone. Because we had no difficulty walking around under the trees. Yeah. Yeah, I would love to hear more about what those guys scanned <coughs> and how they did it. That's why I pulled the file, but I couldn't find anything in it. Yeah. The interesting thing is that you've got a very low background radiation here, and when you do find a, a hot spot, you have to be there for a while to really confirm it. Is that right? It's, you know, unless unless you're getting a really high I know reading. A little bit about radiation. Yeah. Yeah, I gather. You know, the half-life, it depends on what it is. But exactly. It can be quite lengthy and it can be very short. It can be extremely short, yeah. Like well, I wasn't concerned that night when we looked at the readings because unless we'd ingested something or laid on the ground for hours. And... Yeah, the readings you got, whilst very high for this area, especially for this area where they were well, really very low. And the interesting thing dangerous. is the readings in the three indentations were higher than they were the air, in any area around there. Yeah. And the center of the triangle formed by the three indentations was a bit higher. Yeah. And then when we checked the trees, the side of the tree toward the, the indentations was higher on the inside than it was on the outside. Yeah. There was a difference. Not much, but there was a difference. I think I heard in the tape, I think I heard Monroe say that it was about half a, half a millirem. Does that sound right? I don't remember now. I'd have to go back and listen to the tape. It's been so long ago. Yeah. It, so it sounded like what he said, which... But he was talking needle deflections, too, and so you had to know what scale yeah. he was course, at. Of course, you'd need to know which scale he was at. Have you got the publication, the technical publication for the APN 27? I have, yeah. I've got the... Okay, I've got the, I have a copy of it. I've got the file that comes with it. Okay. Good. And I've, I've had a little play around with it, too. Okay. Um, if you didn't have it, I'd say I'd get you a copy. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I've got a copy, and, and I've... I've got it scanned electronically as well. And from, from everything I heard, we're getting close to the woods now, I'm just going to slow down a bit. From everything, from everything I've heard and from everything that I've seen and from what I know about the radiation levels here... Honestly, I think the track we followed... You can see the, the fields right there, those trees at the yeah, end there, that's the it. the edge of the forest. It was somewhere in this area where the... Now there is a track here, but it goes kind of that way, so I don't think it's yeah, that. No, one. it was it, it ran this way. And you don't think it would have been any further forward this way? Well, we we need to go down there anyhow. So yeah, let's let's go take a look. To me, half a millirem sounds about right. It's high, but not too high. Um, it's at the top end of of the scale you get on the lowest sensitivity on that instrument. That instrument isn't designed for looking for UFOs. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. That it's, was designed it's for to check for fallout if we ever got attacked. Exactly. Yeah. Not, not a not a particularly That's sensitive exactly instrument. What it was designed for. Yeah. What did you think of those photos? I said. I don't suppose you saw the photos of the tree.